Muni Rats coming to you today from Plum Creek down in Kyle, Texas, home of the Texas State Bobcats golf team, hosted this week by David White. PG gets us started off here. He's actually going to flight this one expertly down and to the left to keep it out of the wind. Shot tracker wasn't working with the overcast sky, but I pulled this one ultimately just a little bit left. Ended up getting pretty lucky though, still had a shot at the green. A shot at the green which I missed, but one sand trap, one sand save incredibly windy day this is actually for par on a 600 yard par 5 which patrick makes and gets the skin d whiz rolling the rock right here gets the 10 foot birdie to fall there you go well i only hit like two fairways on the front I don't know if it was the swing or the wind, but I got blown off the tee here. Good shot from PG here, riding the wind into this par 3. Threw mine in there at the flag as well, but unfortunately left it on just the wrong side of the pin on a ridge. Birdie attempt here from PG after that nice tee shot ends up just missing it. Bringing a rough front nine to the close here. This birdie attempt, unfortunately, was the second best shot I had in the front nine. Four iron here with a strong win from about 200, ended up getting it to about six feet. Six feet and two types of break. I only read one of them, so I had to go quick to the pocket to put that tee in the ground for the closest to the pin. has some man-sized par threes. Nice shot here from PG into the wind, into this yet another 200 yard par three. I did everything I could, personally watching this, to try and coax it into the hole, but unfortunately it came up just a short for birdie downwind par 5 and finally got up and down here for a, a nice little birdie. Thank you D Wiz by the way for that read. Props. Last highlight from the first group I promise. PG rolled in a few birdie attempts on the back nine. Well not in but he rolled them. Doc Man with a fairly long par attempt on the last that just burns the edge. Something about this hole, man. Brad even has one that just dives around the hole. Did I mention that this was the commissioner's birthday game? I'm going to go ahead and let this one speak for itself. Whiskey shot for everyone if I make this. Don't video. 
Thomas promising shots, plus Ross pointing out it's on video, plus ten dollars on the line, equals. Hit it too hard. Oh, yeah, I hit it way too hard. You had to say it's on video. Of course, <laughs> you had to throw that in there. Jab. Cub making it out for the first time this year, rolling it down the hill. Ooh, and getting undone by a pebble. Not a surprise, but another solid round from Hayden, although this was for par here on the last. LJ dressing up a little bit here to get on camera. Able to grab his second shot out of the fairway, runs it up real nicely. The camera work takes a little bit of getting used to. There we go, LJ running it up on the green. Smooth swinging James from the fairway for his second shot on the 18th. Chris pushed his drive, it would appear, but he was able to get up over the trees and bring it up onto the green nicely. Here's our tournament host with a flop shot. Came up short with his second here on 18, but throws this one up into the wind nicely. Actually gets it to check here a little bit. Nice blast here. Does end up catching the ridge and run down a little bit. Silky smooth putting stroke here from Chris. One of the few birdie attempts here on the 18th today. We'll let Dalton finish out this sand save to wrap up the highlights from this round. A couple of really nice scores on a brutally windy day. Uh, ultimately, James uh, and David ended up tying for low gross. Thomas with his first round here with the Rats in 2020, uh, at least this calendar year, was able to bring in low net. Fun day. <laughs>